Hello dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. Now for some people, getting their Velocity One Flight Yolk or Flight Stick connected to their Xbox or PC is a bit of trial and error and troublesome. They can't actually get their stick or flight yolk actually up and started with their Xbox or PC with Flight Sim 2020 or Flight Sim 2024. So in this video, I'm going to try and guide you on how to get your yolk or flight stick connected in the first place with Flight Sim 2020 or Flight Sim 2024. Let's first start with the Velocity 1 flight stick. So on the Velocity 1 flight stick, you have a screen on the front of it and you'll have various information on that including what mode it's in you can see that it's in the xbox mode at the bottom you've got a wheel if you move it clockwise you move through menus and the first menu you'll come to is input mode what you want to do there is click on the right hand side of that wheel it's like a clicking spot uh, just to enter input mode and you would select there whether you want xbox or pc on the Velocity 1 flight yoke, you want to use your up and down buttons on the small screen on the front of the yoke. Either one, just get to the input mode menu and press the tick button. There's a tick button there, just press that to enter input mode. And the, when you're in input mode, you can go up or down with the arrow key buttons. Select either Xbox or PC and then press tick again to choose your input mode. So what about cloud gaming? Can it work over cloud gaming? Well, no. Somebody joined our Discord recently with that specific issue with their flight stick. We didn't actually know they were using it over cloud gaming until they mentioned it, but yet you can't use it. Let me just show you something on screen. This is officially from Turtle Beach, and I'll link it below in the, the description for you. Uh, there are different versions of Flight Sim 2020. This was before Flight Sim 2024 came out, but it's the same thing. One is the standard version of the game, the other is the cloud streaming version via Game Pass. The cloud streaming, known as xCloud, version of Flight Sim 2020 stroke Flight Sim 2024, does not recognize any third-party controllers, either on Xbox or a Windows PC. Uh, this means that the Velocity One or other controllers made by companies other than Microsoft will not be recognized and therefore can't be used uh, with the cloud streaming version of Flight Sim 2020 and 2024, I can well imagine there. So there you go, so it won't work with cloud gaming, uh, just in case you are wondering. So anyway, I do hope this little bite-sized tip has been of help to you. Let me know in the description, in the comments rather, and I hope you can get your Velocity One products up and running. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon.